Good morning and welcome to the City Perth Library Storytime. My name is Shannon and we're going to be reading some books today. First, let's do our hello song. So we need to wave our hands like this. This is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello so early in the morning. Now washing our hands, everybody. Ready? This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands so early in the morning. And last of all, let's brush our teeth. Ready? This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth so early in the morning. Good job, everybody. Okay, we're going to do when cows wake up in the morning. Ready? We're going to go moo. Ready? When cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Moo! And that is what they say. Now next up, we're going to do cats. What noise does a cat make? Very good, they go meow. So put our cat down here. When cats wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When cats wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Meow, meow, meow. And that is what they say. Next up, we'll do a duck. So here is my duck today. And ducks go quack, 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 quack. Ready? When ducks wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When ducks wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Quack, 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 quack. And that is what they say. Our first book today is called Super Mom by Joe Berger and Timothy Knappman. And this one is published by Nosy Crow. All mums are truly brilliant. But sometimes you'll find one who has a special something like my ooh, superhero mum. And there she is. She gets up every morning with a superhero leap. Though sometimes even superheroes need a bit more sleep. She does so many things at once. She zooms around everywhere, mending, mixing, making. What she made there? She made pancakes? Taming tangles in my hair. She must have super strength because she carries so much stuff. My scooter, wellies, coat, and even that's lots not enough. For when we have to run because I see the bus drive by, she picks me up and goes so fast, I think, that she can fly. She makes up super things to do like this, my favourite game. Here they are, playing. And monster chasing children around the playground is its name. If I'm feeling sad or cross or when I've hurt my knee, my mum's the superhero that I always want to see. She skinned her knee, it must hurt a lot. As in a flash and with a smile, my super mum appears with sticky plasters and a kiss to chase away my tears. And when I'm playing in the bath, she makes us both look weird. They're done, they've made soap beards by giving each of us a really funny bubble beard. And she's got spiky hair too. She doesn't wear a cape or fly to earth from outer space, but she's the one who saves me when there's trouble I must face. Like sometimes when I go to bed, my teddy isn't there and I can't sleep without him. So that really is not fair. There's mum looking under the bed and in the boxes. My mum's the one who dashes off to have a look around in every nook and corner till... Yippee, hooray, he's found. I say you're my superhero and the best mum too. 
She smiles and says, remember this, my love, because it's true. And then she holds me tight and spins me in a super whirl. Every mum's a superhero and so is every girl. That was the end of Super Mum. Superhero Mum. She did an amazing job, didn't she? So our next rhyme today is slowly, slowly. So we're going to be a garden snail climbing slowly up and then a mouse running up. Ready? Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly into his little house. Tickle. Very good, everyone. Now, next up we'll do cuddling monkeys. So we need to cuddle our monkey like this. Then we'll do some hissing snakes, some crocodiles, hippos, and tigers. Ready? Cuddling monkeys, cuddling monkeys, hissing snakes, hissing snakes, crocodiles and hippos, crocodiles and hippos, tigers too, tigers too. Roar! Did you roar nice and loud there? If not, let's give this another try. Ready? We're going to cuddle a monkey again. Cuddling monkeys, cuddling monkeys, hissing snakes, hissing snakes, crocodiles and hippos, crocodiles and hippos, tigers too, tigers too. Roar! Did you roar nice and loud there? Our next book is Secret Agent Man. This one is by Tim Wynne Jones and illustrated by Bi Brian Wan and published by Candlewick Press. So there is Secret Agent Man. Sam is digging for the lost city of raisins. He is tracking down the treacherous green spitting bug balancing on high places and stealing home. K is hanging out clouds. You need new shoes, says K. And there we go. That is how this one starts. Let's have a look. Sam and Kay go shopping for shoes. I can't decide whether I want rocket shoes or vanishing shoes, says Sam. I'll be right with you, ma'am, says shoe store man. That's Kay, says Sam, short for Kay. Shoe store man looks shifty. Frisk him, says Sam. Sam tries on lots of shoes. I'll take the ones with tiger stripes, says Sam. I'll have the same, says Kay. Sam watches shoe store man tie his laces. One bow, two bows, over, under, and pull them tight. How about lunch, says Kay. Roar, says Sam. There he is with his tiger stripe shoes. He orders the double buffalo burger with a side of snakes and electron float. We're matching tigers, he says. Roar, says Kay. On the bus home, someone tries to steal the plans for world domination. You see who tried to steal them? It's this little baby in the pram. Oh, no, you don't, says Sam. Phew, that was close, says Kay. I feel woozy, says Sam. Someone must have slipped something bad into my float. I'd suggest 40 winks, says Kay. Make that 27 winks, says Sam. I've got an important meeting. He watches Kay untie his shoelaces, one bow, then the other. Sam dreams of beautiful poisonous butterflies and dangerous inflatable frogs. His important meeting goes well. There is the plans for world domination, he tells the team of expert spies. Decode them and have the results on my desk by three. Will do, says Agent Coyote. Yes, sir, says Agent Ted. Three on the nose, says Agent Pig. 
good, says Sam, and goes looking for Kay. She's not in the secret chamber of silence. You see that? Does that look like a wardrobe? She's not in the holding cell of despair, the toilet. She's not in the torture chamber at the piano or the rocket silo, the laundry, or the darkest valley of doom. It looks like it might be a, a basement. Then Sam hears a long, low rumble. <gasps> Thunder! Uh-oh, he says. Quickly, he puts on his new shoes and runs as fast as a tiger to the rescue. Off he goes. Kay is bringing in the clouds. Let me help, shouts Sam. Phew, that was close, says Kay. They sit and watch the storm, drinking steaming mugs of lava topped with dollops of candy, gardenia and pearls. Lucky my team of expert spies warned me about the storm, so, says Sam. Toes, says Kay. T-O-E-S, team of expert spies. Right, says Sam. We're ready for anything. Good, says Kay. Sam looks at his new tiger shoes. They look very excited and proud. Sam, says Kay. Did you tie your own shoelaces? Roar, says Sam. That's it, he must have learnt to tie them just in time for that storm. Okay, next up we've got Put Your Shoes on Lucy. This is a new one that I haven't done before. So we're gonna go nice and slow for you, ready? Goes, put your shoes on Lucy. Don't you know we're in the city? Put your shoes on Lucy, it really is a pity that Lucy can't go barefoot wherever she goes because she loves to feel the wiggle of her toes. Very good everybody. Did you put your shoes on this morning? I certainly did. And now we're going to do some heads and shoulders. So just in the, like in the library, we'll do it three times. Ready? I'm going to start at our heads. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, we all clap hands together. Now next time, just a little bit faster. Ready? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, we all clap hands together. And last time, super fast. Ready? On your marks. Get set, go. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes. We all clap hands together. <laughs> Very good. Did you go super, super fast? I certainly hope so. Okay, our next book today is Mum Goes to Work by Libby Gleason and Lila Rudge. And this one is published by Walker Books. It's early morning, everyone is arriving at the centre. It's noisy and busy while Mark and May greet everyone. Mum is going to work. Bye, Mum. Bye. Nadia's mother is a student. She goes to classes and then reads in the library. She writes in a folder and talks with the teacher about her work. That's Nadia's mother. Nadia paints a picture for her mum. Then she and Jack build a city in the block corner. It takes a very long time. Lawrence's mother works in a cafe. She shows the customers a menu. Then she takes the orders to the kitchen and brings the food to the customers. Here's all the food there. We've got eggs on toast and a cup of tea. When they're finished, she collects their money to pay the bill. Lawrence and Georgia play in the sand pit. They make a three layer sand cake and lots of sand biscuits. Then they play on the swing that hangs from the tree house. Max's mother is a nurse. She gives the patients their medicine and makes them comfortable. She checks all the machines and talks to the doctor about each sick person. And they are there making sure they all get better. Max plays in the dressing up corner. He and Anne put the dolls to bed and then join the others for music and a story.
Rosie and Jack's mother works at home with their new baby. She feeds and baths him while he's sleeping. She sorts the laundry and tidies the house. Later, she takes him shopping in the pram. Here's our baby here. Rosie, Jack and Nadia wash all the dolls and teddies and put them out to dry. They emptied the water onto the dirt and make a big mud pie. Then it's time to scrub their hands and sit down to lunch. There they all are eating all of their lunches. We've got lots of different things. We've got watermelon and sandwiches. And then the mums are eating lunches too. After lunch, it's quiet time. They are tucking up to go for their naps. My pat's Louie to sleep. Georgia and Lewis's mother work for the council. Georgia's mother is a gardener. She plants all the flower beds in the park. You see this naughty dog is digging up the garden bed she just planted. Lewis's mother is at the front desk. She helps anyone who comes in with a problem. And look, it's Georgia's mum there with the dog that dug up the garden patch. Georgia and Lewis wake up from their sleep and give Mark a cuddle. They go out and water the vegetable patch and pick some flowers. They each make a long pasta necklace for their mothers. Anne's mother works in a clove shop. She unpacks the new t-shirts and puts them on the shelves. She helps the customers find the cloves that they like best and that fit them well. Anne and Ali empty the rag bag on the floor. They stick different pieces on the big sheet of paper to hang on the wall. Then they put together the brightly colored puzzles. Bridget's mother works in an office. She turns on her computer and answers the emails. Then she makes a coffee and takes it to a meeting in a different room. Later, she writes a report on the computer. Bridget and Max make a computer each from some boxes. They draw on lots of numbers and buttons. When they finish, they help Mai cut up apples and celery for afternoon tea. Ali's mother is a teacher. She reads to her class. Then she helps the children write their own stories. After they go home, she prepares work for the next morning. Ali and Bridget help Mark put the bikes away. Then Ali takes all the dolls and the teddies into the quiet corner and shows them some picture books. It's nearly time to go home. Everyone is feeling tired. You see how all the children all day have been playing just like their parents work. Here we are. See you tomorrow. Bye. And all the families have come to pick the children back up. And that was the end. Does your mum go to work? What does she do? Do you know? Maybe we should ask her and then you can try playing that later. Yeah. So now we're going to do round and round the garden. So we're going to do this on our hand, walking round and round like this as a teddy bear. And then we'll do a haystack with the little mouse. Ready? Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you under there. Now on the other hand, and we go round and round the haystack. Round and round the haystack goes the little mouse. One step, two step, into our little house. Now our last song today is the goodbye song. So we're gonna wave goodbye, ready? This is the way we wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave goodbye. This is the way we wave goodbye so early in the morning. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. <laughs>